Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. My name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. One, two, three, go. A lesbian mom in Colorado is filing a paternity lawsuit against her ex-partner over custody of their children. Wendy Alfredson and Lena Alfredson adopted two biological sisters in 2006, but the couple broke up three years later. Because of Colorado law, one gay parent is allowed to sign adoption papers for one child. That means that each of the two parents was actually the parent of one of the children, and then each parent subsequently made all of the decisions for one child. When the couple split up, Lena moved to Norway. It's really far away. And she took her legal daughter with her. And according to Wendy, this was very traumatic for the other child. Duh. Wendy said, she didn't get to say goodbye to her parent or sister. I think any parent would fight tooth and nail for their kids. I didn't know what contact I would have, what role I would play, especially not legally being her parent. So why has Wendy, who was apparently so distraught about her daughter leaving, only now filing a paternity suit? According to her lawyer, Ann Gusser, the decision to file three years after the incident was due to a recent Colorado decision to allow non-biological parents to file paternity suits. Before this decision, Wendy had been unable to successfully make a case for her being essentially a father. Wendy's lawyer states, that case of a non-biological father seeking custody came out and I learned about it, and two weeks later I amended our filing. If this guy can do it, I thought, why can't a lesbian mother do it? So naturally, the LGBT is hailing this as a victory, since Wendy Alfredson is the first ever woman to file a paternity suit. And then, on the other hand, there's a bunch of people out in the world that are like, whoa, kids should not be raised by two gay parents. The idea is basically that a child is best raised when they're influenced by both a male father and a female mother. And once that argument is made, unfortunately, people on both sides of the issue tend to stop using any form of logic whatsoever. The anti-gay parenting people claim that not having both a mom and a dad will make the children socially inept and poorly adjusted. But you know what else can do that? A crappy foster system that shuffles children around from home to home and never allows them to have an identity. Also, two really crappy straight parents can do that. Oh, uh, chemical imbalances in the brain. And wolves. Wolves can do that. Children raised by wolves are the worst. Wolf kids are horrible people. They're so awkward. They're barely people. They're more wolf. Yeah. Than person. And then there's the pro-gay parenting people who are all like, hey, it's gonna be okay, we think, even though we're not quite sure because of an inadequate sample size, but hey, don't knock it till you try it. Look, it's a very complicated issue on a society level because gay parenting has never been the norm, so it's hard to estimate the effects that it's gonna have on children. Also, fun side note, we covered this issue in the first source-fed story ever, so click on this annotation if you want to check out that story and see me and Philip DeFranco ramble on some stuff for a while. Despite gay parenting being a hot button issue, it still begs the question of whether a woman should be allowed to file a a paternity suit because it makes you question the very definition of paternity. Before, paternity involved some biological aspect, but with this case, the definition of paternity becomes purely sociological, and that's bound to piss a lot of people off. She cannot do that because she, she doesn't have the... She doesn't have a dinker! Still, what Judge Stevens Collins has agreed to is that paternity shouldn't be restricted to just males. As of now, both parents have agreed to share parenting rights and they're working out those logistics. And just so you know, this isn't a dramatic custody battle. This is just two parents wanting to figure out how they can both spend time with their children. So what are your thoughts on these matters? Do you think a lesbian mom should be allowed to file a paternity suit? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. You click those like and subscribe buttons and hit this annotation or go to sourcefed.com to see the five stories of the day or any story covered at SourceFed ever. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Morgan. See you in a bit.